kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel from this particular video we'll be starting a new chapter in advanced corporate accounting that is liquidation of company now in this particular video let us only discuss about the theory part of this particular chapter so regarding the complete two marks theory i will be releasing one more video before the examination so that you can revise that two marks video and easily answer all the two marks questions in your examinations so what what do you mean by the liquidation of company so if you simply say what is liquidation means it is a termination of legal existence termination of legal existence so we all know that company is a legal entity means it is existed by the law so cancelling that existence terminating means cancelling or closing that legal existence is known as termination of legal existence or liquidation of company means in other easiest or simple way if you want to say the company is brought to an end means we are closing the company this is the simple meaning of that liquidation of company means where the company is closed now when we are closing the company we will be approaching the court so we have to go and approach the court the court there will be a judge the judge will appoint a person okay the judge will appoint a person this person will realize all the value of assets means he will try to sell all the value of assets and he will try to sell all the debts or the loans or liabilities this person is known as liquidator this person is known as liquidator iga one company ana naavu mutslikke hodaga naave en martivi court ig hogbekagutte company na mutsta idivi anta heli requisition kodbekagutte court ige aga court one vyaktiyanna appoint martare ಆ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯ ಆ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಕಂಪನಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾರೋದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಾಲಗಳನ್ನ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಆ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯ ಕೆಲಸ ಆ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯ ಹೆಸರು ಏನಂತೀವಿ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡೇಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ liquidators final statements of account so here liquidator will be preparing the account so this account we will have to prepare in this whole chapter this is also very easy chapter and very important chapter also so please concentrate and watch all my videos so in the debit side we will entry all the receipts and credit side we have to enter all the payments so receipts means whatever the company should receive such as first we will entry that is cash in hand how much ever cash is there with the company that is also a receipt only next cash at bank some of the money the company would have kept in the bank that amount also will be writing here then all the assets realized so whatever the value of asset is there as on the date of liquidation that all assets we will be writing this side ella ondu assets galana illi marthe torustivi andre company mutsta irtakkanta dinadalli yenenu assets na value irutte adanella debit side torustivi next surplus realized from secured creditors from secured creditors so now creditor suppose let me think that the creditor's value is 1 lakh for that i would have mortgaged 1 lakh rupees machinery so now the machinery value is 1 lakh 20000 so 20000 is a surplus so, uh, surplus from secured creditors anta endre iga avar avaratha naavu saala tagolbekare ondu ada ittirthi ondu vastu na aa vastu belle jaasti aagogutte aa jaasti aagirthakanta amount na illi torustivi next calls in arrears means which you need to receive in future in the value of shares that is also an asset next these are the asset side now very important is the credit side 
because the company's law the company's act of 2013 has told us in which format we need to distribute the amount or in which order we need to pay the amount to the creditors or the liability holders of the company when the company has been liquidated company mutsogide andre yarik first kodbeku yarik second kodbeku anodana company is actually helidare first always we need to pay to secured creditors secured creditors now who is this secured creditors means you would have taken some loan from the creditors but for that we would have kept something pledged we would have pledged the house or pledged some property pledged some machinery so based on that we would have obtained the loan so it is our first priority to clear off the secured creditors so that our assets will be re- re- released so if a bank ig hogu sala kotraga avaru sumki sala keldaga sumne kotbirtara sala kodalla enara ada idi anta keltara aga nam land o building o plant o machinery no eno ondana safety age avarge pledge maadi document na aamene navu sala vanna tagoltivi ಸೊ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಸನ್ ಸೆ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ದ ಕಂಪನಿ ಸಮ್ ನಾ ಸಿ ನೋಬಡಿ ಹೌ ದಿ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಈಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡೇಟರ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ದಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಕಂಪನಿ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ next is liquidators remuneration see liquidator remuneration remuneration may be fixed also at the same time it might be on some percentage basis also liquidator remuneration and the fixed aagu irbodu illange and the percentage basis mele kuda adu iruvantha chances irutte after all these things next we need to come for the debenture holders debenture holders so in debentures holders first if any outstanding amount is there if outstanding amount or outstanding interest is there on debentures means first that we have to clear it off next that current year debentures we have to pay modlu hod varsha thenaru due itto ane adana kodbidbeku next aa varshaddu kodbekagutte next comes preferential shareholders so, sorry preferential creditors sorry preferential creditors now what is the difference between secured creditors and preferential creditors means here you would have pledged the property or some asset but here you will not pledge anything by chance tax you need to pay to government so it is also a credit if you have not paid so similarly they, we we won't pledge any assets there after this comes unsecured creditors now you may ask me what is the difference between preferential creditors as well as unsecured creditors both we will not mortgage or we would not pledge any of the assets but preferential creditors will have more preference than unsecured creditors next if any calls in advance means if we should have collected that amount or final call amount after 2 months but we have collected it before that also we need to pay it back next comes preference shareholders preference shareholders in preference shareholders first we have to pay any arrears is there if any arrears is there on dividend first that amount we have to pay it off then after paying that we can just give them the share capital means as of that day whatever the amount they should have received that thing next comes our equity shareholders equity shareholders the final amount after distributing all this whatever the amount that will be remaining that will go to the equity shareholders that will show under equity share capital this is the format of preparing the liquidators final statement of account hope you have understood how to prepare the liquidators final statement of account and what is the introduction about the liquidation who is a liquidator what is liquidation so from our next part two videos we'll be starting to solve the problems so i'll come back with my next video if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon button because because whenever i upload the new video you'll get the immediate notification of my new lectures thank you if you have any queries regarding today's session 
kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.